I, 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 I saw this heart-rendering scene, or a song about it, on the street. There was a little boy, he must have been about three years old, and he was with uh, a, a, a person who was a babysitter, and he was crying in this incredible voice. I'm wrecking the whole world. He really felt this in a way that was so, uh, um, I'm, I'm, and, and the only other person who stopped there, I, I didn't, um, was somebody to, you know, stop talking, you know, you're giving your babysitter a hard time. It was, what a nightmare this was, you know, the, 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 the him accepting the responsibility somebody must have told him he did something mm -hmm. really bad you know and he's 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 he and he doesn't know what to do about yeah, this absolutely. he doesn't know how to fix it you know he's he's i'm just you know it's it's in me i'm i'm bad mm -hmm. i can't you know that must be something akin to what rape victims absolutely. feel absolutely when adults tell children these these things that they are responsible that they are bad children do accept them when they hear them from the adults that are the most important people in their lives, especially when they're parents. Um, and unfortunately, I think it does stay with kids if they don't get the help they need, um, if they don't see healthier relationships. And if I could just jump in on, it, on the, uh, the international side, certainly when, when girls and of, of particular cultures, and I'll use the example of, of Muslim culture in, in Libya and Syria, um, specifically, where they are, their role in society is very much, at least as a girl, is as being a virgin before she gets married. Um, marriage, virginity, uh, sexuality are all met, are all tied up together. So if she's raped before she gets married, it's she feels that her life is over with. She will never marry. No one will ever marry her. Um, she, the family might disown her. They might kill her, or as we saw a number of times, she kills herself with feeling that she has brought dishonor not, not so much to herself, but to the family or even to the, to the village. So what an immense societal shame that is placed on a young person with no outlet um, for it. I mean, the, the stories in the Middle Ages where there's a very famous female painter who was raped and the only, the only way to solve the problem for her to get her, her, um, her honor back was to marry the rapist. And that was a standard mm -hmm. procedure and that's probably still the standard procedure in, in some parts in of the world. Some of the conservative areas, yeah. So it's, it's, it's tied up not only with attitudes about sex but also with attitudes about women. About women. One of the things we said before off camera is you talked about that she loses her virginity but no man can ever lose their virginity. I mean they're just basically not virgins forever or they, they lose their virginity. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, it's, it's, and, and, and that hasn't moved much. It's moved some. But I think that what you're talking about really adds to the difficulty of men disclosing abuse too because I think they have to, you know, th there's a societal message that this is a badge of honor. And if they don't feel like that, I think it can be one more barrier to reporting it, because it certainly happens to boys and men, too. Yes, yes. There's some, really some heart-rendering uh, people talking, you know, uh, in the Catholic Church uh, uh, issues, you know, about how they felt boys, young boys, choir boys and stuff about, because they seem to be often the object uh, about how they carried this with them. and. Mm -hmm how this messed with them. Mm -hmm. And some of them that told, but because it was a priest, um, or a, a priest who was friends with the family, they, or let's say it was a police department that oftentimes was a very Irish or, <laughs> or Catholic, I should say, um, um, centered organization, um, they were not believed. So not only maybe the few that did have the courage to tell, then were, were not believed, um, so sort of a, a second layer of betrayal, not believed by their family, um, who may have introduced the priest to the, to, the, to the altar boy, as an example. Why wouldn't they be believed? Because it's, because it's, why? You know, I mean, it's not unbelievable. Well, people, people do think of someone who would sexually abuse a child as being extremely strange. They don't imagine that it would be someone who they look up to like a priest. Mm -hmm. So it is difficult it is difficult to imagine. These are crimes that happen behind closed doors in secret. You don't see them. So when you're told that 
someone has done something as heinous as sexually abusing a child, you're imagining a stranger usually. You're imagining someone lurking behind a, you know, in a dark alley. You're not imagining the teacher who you respect or the coach who everyone loves. You're not certainly imagining the priest who is, you know, there on every Sunday and um, others respect him. Mm -hmm. So it, it is often difficult for people to believe. That is why the education is so important. 